Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. It's me, JD Sensei. I'm going to turn this off. And let me take you downstairs. This is why we came to the desert. First of all, this is what I pulled out just getting to the bottom of the mine. Uh, 432 shale oil. Haven't found any lead yet. Bunch of rocks, bunch of sand. But if I would go down here, this is my mine right here, right? And we just put this down here and just run on down here. Look. Look, this is all stuff right here. It's just, uh, think. Just ran into it and started mining it out and making a little mine right here. I did do this off center. I didn't want to make it too wide, but it's fine. Uh, we need to go outside and do some repairs because I did hear, while I was down here, I did hear people running into the sides of my freaking building. So somebody killed themselves outside. Not sure why. Uh, let me drop off this iron I picked up. Drop that off. Also, since I don't need the stone shovel at the moment, go ahead and scrap that. Okay. We will have to take a ride to my home base, too, because I want to repair a few things. And I'm not in the market at the moment for a... I am in the market for a new club. So I need to repair some tools and stuff. And I just don't have the stuff for a workbench yet. And it'll give us the opportunity. Let's go downstairs and see what they ran into. Signs over here. Stairs are down here. Okay, let's pick this up. Okay, down we go. Let's just drop on that. Where did you idiots walk into my walls? I heard you. I did hear them bopping around out here, breaking stuff. Ah, there they are. Oop. Just out here to be out here, huh? Okay, let me get my knife back up. Get rid of this body. Sounded like there were more than one of you, but... Sounded like there were more than one of you, but... Oh, well, I guess maybe they just walked along here and got whacked for their trouble. Yeah, he kind of walked along here. Whoops. Just ran into him. So it did work. Uh, I guess it was more than one. What do you got on you? I said, what do you have on you? Let's get rid of that guy. Didn't appreciate you walking along it. Eh, there were three or four of them. Eh, nothing I can't fix. That one's not damaged. This might as well not be damaged. Okay, and you're out of here, and these look okay. All right, yeah, so I did have some visitors last night coming in, walking along, making themselves a nuisance and killing themselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to run back to the regular place. I'm going to go grab uh, some... I'm going to fix up some tools real quick, and we're going to uh, grab some other stuff. I'm going to fill up the water buckets. That's definitely a thing I need to do. Okay, let's drop off some stuff. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Drop this crap off. Okay, we'll keep that because we want to fix the axe, too. Uh, concrete is fine. Is there anything I want to learn back? Other than my pots, let me uh, swap these out. Okay, that down here for now. Can hold on to that and the stairs. I don't need to drag those back with me. All right, let's go ahead and uh, throw in these water buckets because we're gonna need them. You know, a little more pool love here. All right, and I shouldn't need these frames for the moment, so they can stick out for a little while. All right, let's head on back. 
and we do need to repair our club. We need to merge the axes so they repair each other. We need to do a couple of little things here. Just uh, be ready for the day in question. We're fine on health and stuff. Food, we got tons of food. All right, so let's head back to the main base. Zip on around here and head on back. So yeah, it wasn't too bad last night. Oh, and I also picked up Medieval Dynasty and I'm playing it a little bit. So I think I got an idea of how I want to play it. It took a little while to get used to the controls. I think I'll start making uh, records. Uh, check this this weekend. You know, oh, there's a zombie to my right. Isn't that a damn shame? Ow! How do I get hurt on a ca uh, by a cactus? Yep, yep, yep. I'm finding every single one of them. There you go. Found them all. Ooh. Didn't realize it was so close to that. Don't need to be running over landmines. It's always a bad, bad day that can happen. Yeah, I did find that big old section of just uh, shale oil and uh, shale oil and iron. So I was like, I'll stop here, and then we'll run it further down later. But as it, that is kind of what I want the mine shaft to be. I know a lot of people do it in concrete, but I just don't have the concrete to waste on that right now. I can make it, it's fine. We're gonna pretty up that mine at some point anyways. Okay, I should be over here somewhere. Uh, is it gonna snow? What's going on? Oh yeah, that's right, I live up on this monstrosity. Yeah, I forgot I live up on a giant hill. Whoa, fat boy. I'm, I swapped out mics. Hopefully this one doesn't keep popping. Get out of the way. Out of the way, fam. Get out of the way. All right, I'm not leaving this very long, so I don't have to worry too much about it. But I do have to refill the gas, too, so that's a thing my trees only a couple are fully grown so it's not that big of a deal if I don't go get them right now but yeah we I wanted to make a forge I wanted to get us started whoa too far too far too far too far this is why I made the other one so damn big you know because it's so touchy-feely here There you go. Park that just right. All right, let's go do do a little. What the hell happened here? Did you guys just show up while I wasn't here? There we go. Looks like they just kind of walked in here uh, while I was gone. Didn't kill anything. Just kind of killed themselves. Well, that was dumb. All right. Down we go. Into our base. Let's go over to this first and fix up this axe. All right. Um, this one's 242. This one's 255. That takes us uh, about 50% of our axe got fixed. Let's go ahead and make up some forged iron. So we can make a new barbed club. Yeah. Let's do 20 of them. Real quick. That's going to take a little bit. So we got our axe fixed. Let's go get the water while that's uh, cooking up. Let's go refill our water bucket so we can continue to make the pool. Ooh, don't go crazy there. You don't want to go flying off into the sunset. That wouldn't be fun. Well, that'd be fun for you guys. You guys get a kick out of it as I flail about and cause damage to myself. 
Excuse me, I'm here for your pool water. Thank you. That's all I needed. The knife is fine for right now. I would assume. Looks okay. But yeah, I uh, proved the basic concept of the uh, base withstanding uh, an attack overnight. You know, a mild attack. Obviously, if a horde was coming in, that'd be bad news bears. Which I shouldn't be due for a horde until day 49. Right? Yeah, 49. Okay, let's take that out. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Okay. Well, I could just make this out of... I, I keep forgetting I can just make these out of here. Make a spiked club. That's going to take me a minute and 27 seconds. Do I have anything I want to bring with me while I'm thinking about it? Not really. Not terribly really. Well, I guess I could bring some parts with me. Cap these. Yes, take those with me, just so it's easier to make my bench later. Uh, and I don't need anything else at the moment. I, I, I should take one of these over just to make the campfire a bit better. And I'll take another one of these in case I want an extra campfire. Here, put that there. Okay, the dukes can stay here for now. And give me the half the nails. Okay. Oh, and give me the lights. I might need those for something. And the spare forge. I didn't realize I had two of them here. Okay. We'll take all that with us. Uh, what are we at? Ah, oh, just barely in time. Okay. Uh, we'll just leave that there. We'll combine these two. Combine that with this. Gives us a 486. It was a good computer way back in the Ice Age. Okay, now we can almost go back. I've almost forgot to gas up. Almost, but not completely. Yeah, give me that. And give me this. Okay, there we go. All right, back we go. Back we go, gang. Back we go. Just had to run back here for a couple of things I wanted get this nice tree farm if we're really desperate. And it's good, I guess, we uh, ended up swapping out directions. Gas this bad boy up. Takes almost a thousand gas to gas this bad boy up. All right, here we go, straight back. Hopefully we don't find every damn cactus on the way like I did last time. That was fun. So I already did, uh, in terms of uh, recording, I did, uh, I have Saturdays. This will be Sunday's video, and then I have Monday, and Sunday and Monday will be done today, and then I'll do Tuesday and Wednesday the next uh, over the weekend. But yeah, I want to get some medieval dynasty under my belt too, which is, I, I I watched some videos beforehand just to learn how to play the game and, you know, get some tips and tricks. But the number one trick I keep seeing is everybody's like, don't change the sliders, uh, especially the one for the day uh, days in the season. And I can see why it's not terribly i mean the days go slow enough so you can uh do what you want to do without i get a guy can see like not running into problems with the winter very quickly i could just see that because it, it's like i i think i played for like two hours and i'm barely a day into summer yeah found a rock you get around that oh, yeah i'm barely like two days in the summer I think I've just barely started the second day of summer. So, and I've got 
for those of you who don't know that game, uh, basically I got three of the major required buildings already built, plus an extra, and I have my first villager. Uh, I was just screwing around, learning how everything works, and I managed to do that. And I dicked around and walked around looking for stuff too. So, yeah, it's not as hard as it sounds. But I guess if you got once you really know the game and decide to go for the long haul, yeah, moving that up to a season with like 15 days would be ridiculous. I, I, I've heard it screws up the farming because, you know, the seeds don't germinate any damn faster. You know, they just germinate on the season. So if you're relying on farming for money, you're going to be uh, up the creek without a paddle. So you're going to have to know what you're doing ah, to get that. Okay, let's throw a little more gas in this, just to use up what we brought with us. Okay, let's go do our daily requisite of filling the pool. Uh, a little bit more. There we go. All right, on your pool. Okay, get this one. Eh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Right here looks good. One right here. And one right here. Okay, next time we go back, we'll get more water. Easy enough. All right, so the plan for today, now that we've done our daily water trip, well, we're probably going to have to do this for a few days just to get that pool finished. And we got the mine started. So let's put these in here so I don't have to worry about them. Okay, let's go ahead and throw down the second second one of these. Uh, I kind of want this to the right somewhere. Yeah, right there. Yeah, and then we could just go one and do more over this way. Also, give me this. Uh, that door is fine. All right, so let's go ahead and give you some love. It's just going to be for other stuff later. All right, so we'll do that. Don't need to kick that over at the moment. We do need to throw a grill on this. And I did have a cooking pot. I thought I didn't, but you know, got a grill. I should have brought a beaker over, but I didn't think of it. All right, let's drop off the parts. So later on tonight, I can make some stuff. On the nails, I'll drop those off. Throw the axe back where it goes. Throw this back where this goes. Throw this back where this goes. All right. Now let's take a look, cause I didn't really think out, think through what I wanted to do yet. Now we know we're going to need a lot of what should we call it? Which would be a lot of uh, scrap iron. Definitely going to need a lot of scrap iron. Now, make of the iron bars tonight. I'll, I'll start making the iron bars tonight. But we are going to need a lot of scrap iron. And the real doozy is right here. Just so if they come up here, they're going to pay. So you got to go through a ton of concrete just to get to this. If they decide to not walk up the stairs and just walk into the spikes. All right. I guess we can uh, throw a couple right there if we wanted to. I got to do something with the lights, too. What did I just walk through? I might as well just get rid of this stuff, huh? Yeah, might as well just get rid of that crap and this. This is never going to come back. All right, let's go grab some uh, cars. Do I have a wrench available? I do. Okay, let's finish up stealing all the shelves out of here first. First and foremost, get rid of shelving. This is going to fund our, uh, what should we call it, my barbed wire fences. Might go kill some more trees later too. But I love doing this. This is just broken. Whenever you do this, but we are going to steal some cars, get some extra stuff here. 
And we just want the scrap metal for the barbed wire fences. So, other thing I gotta do is I gotta make the escape hatch. So that might happen tonight. You know, while I'm, uh, cause I gotta build a uh, workbench. Once I build the workbench, I can start adding in my escape hatch, which is going to be, I think, I'm not going to do what I did last time, which was, uh, okay, sorry, uh, what I did last time, which is, you know, build a, build it right out the side. I was thinking of doing that, but I'm like, eh, it's not really the best idea. Not the best idea. I do have the mining helmet on, by the way, so it's bright, that's why. I'll take it off when it gets too hot. I still got plenty of food that I got out of here, so I don't have to hunt, but I will if I see a deer. Even this door, too. All right. Well, if we can get all this down, we'll be well on the way to, uh, actually, now that I think about it, Let's go ahead and make some barbed wire. Barbed wire, there we go. Make 200 of these. 200, 200. There we go, there's half my scrap gone already. But I'm gonna put this on the walls above the spikes to prevent idiots from climbing on it. And then we'll think about defenses a little bit further out. So I haven't decided if we want to do the Horde Knight here. It depends on the status of this base when I finish up, you know. Okay, we're done. Okay, that barbed wire is gone. So let's go ahead and drop that in here. And the idea with this stuff is to just go up as high as we can go like that yeah you know and if anybody does manage to get by the spike they're gonna end up or crawling over their dead buddy's head oh shoot. it's gonna be weird like that occasionally if i'm not careful it'll pop right out Let's see oops I'm going to need a lot of this. Come on. Get where I tell you. Right there. There you go. Got to make sure I'm not walking into my own spikes. Now, you can do all sorts of cheese on this, like float this stuff in front of a spike or something like that. But, again, the whole idea here is just to make it as difficult as possible for them to cause a ruckus. Also, I gotta remember a horde spawned somewhere, so. They probably are making their way downtown, walking fast. Gonna kick my damn ass if I'm not careful. So, I gotta kinda listen to what's going on behind me. This is like the absolute cheapest way to take a POI and just put the stuff on it. You put the barbed wire on it. Like I say, uh,. Just for spider zombies or anything that wants to climb up. I mean, a cop will just bleep and get rid of it all, but then he has to deal with that. It also protects the block behind it, you know? I'm going to need a lot more scrap iron to do this. Oop. There you go. I could technically go all the way up, but that's a little bit too much. I don't need that much. I figure if they get all the way up here, once I get the bars all the way around, they're going to have their own problems because they're going to be able to shoot them and they're going to be stuck. Oh, and don't you worry, there's going to be more defenses around here too. Plus, we're going to throw down some uh, barbed wire fences too. Those are always fun. Eh, 200 isn't going to be enough, obviously. Oop. There you go. Hurts my eyes after a while. <laughs> it 
I've got to stop bl and start blinking. It's like, I don't want to blink. Come on, get where I tell you. Now, I could, I think I could put barbed wire right over that. So I might try. I can, right? Come on. Uh, yep, there you go. <laughs> Insult the injury. Not only do you have to go through the barbed wire because it's a window. It's like, oh, there's a window there. I can go through there. No, you can't. No, you cannot. It's a little hard placing it, though. Yeah, because it's very picky about how it wants to get there. It's just me being a dick. It really is. I heard uh, an Alpha 21, or put, uh, no, uh, it got bumped back. They were going to put in Bandits, but I think those got bumped back to a later Alpha. Bandits and Factions, because they don't want to put it in when it's... Ah, stop it. Oh, I just had it, too. Come on. I had it for a split second. Oh, that's touchy. Yeah, I got it. Whew. That is touchy as hell. At least we'll get two sides done, I think. Part of another side. Also, I was thinking those sandbags could put barbed wire fences on top of those. Might as well use what's there. I mean, I get rid of the bodies and stuff. Those are useless. Because they'll never respawn now that I've built here. Okay. So it's going to take about another 200 to go all the way around. A little bit less, maybe? Eh, a little bit more, because the uh, uh, front facade has all those poles and stuff like that. So those are going to be fun to deal with. Okay. Go. Let's just use up what we got. Keep an eye on my temperature. But it's always fun to do this. What do we got? Ten left? Okay. Four more. One more. There we go. All right. So, yeah, we're going to need about another 200 more. But now if they, for whatever reason, like their buddy dies or whatever, and they crawl up uh, uh, on his head, they're not going to get anywhere because they're going to have to deal with that. All right, so I have another experiment I needed to do. Just give me that. Give me these wood frames. I want to try something, and I think I have ramps in the base. I, I've never actually tried putting a spotlight on a ramp. Actually, I could just do that right here. Did I drop off the spotlights? I did not. Okay, I just want to try and see if I can angle these. I don't know if you can. Yeah, that one. Nope. Okay. I was kind of hoping you could put them and angle them, like angle, angle them down, but they don't seem to give a crap. That's fine. We can, uh, do something with them. I'm thinking like right over here. Let's get rid of these rocks. All the stuff around here. Just get rid of these. So I need something to light it up out here, you know? So I'm thinking like right here. Let's get the rebar frames for that one. Uh, they can drop out of here. Drop the axe out. Let's get the rebar frames. And we're only going to put it one high. Right uh, there. Right here looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade that. And if we throw this... Nah, we need to go one higher, I think. Okay. If we can throw this on here. Right there. First of all, let me get it so it pops up. Now, now, there we go. Perfect. A little angled shot there to light that up at night. Oh, and I should turn it on. Duh. 
There you go. Yeah, that, that'll work. And then we'll do the same thing over here. All right, where is that? Right, like there. Roughly right here. And here we go. Let's upgrade them. Because they only got two lights, so that's the thing. I can make more. Perfect. Turn it on. There you go. And we'll get rid of this trash and stuff right here because we don't need it. Use a freaking hammer for all I care. Get it gone. All right. And then we got to get rid of that trash over there. You know, because it's in the way. And then once we... I just need... Oh, I just noticed that was a searchable. Oops. But I think this is going to help me out light it up so I can see them coming in. And I'm thinking the escape base, since the mine is right here, let me, so the mine is somewhere around right here, I think. So let's do this. Let's go over here. Let's go like right here. Let's go to the map. And let's go ahead and put a waypoint down, which I forget how to do. Let's just do a waypoint. Okay, save a waypoint there. Okay, can I do a... Is that right? I always forget how to do waypoints. I don't know why. I just do. All right, so let's do a... Show on map, share waypoint, track waypoint. Let's make a... Well, I guess I can just click here. Ah, quick waypoint. There we go. There we go. That's all I need. I need one close by so I know where to dig the escape hatch into. All right. So what we need to do for that then is go down to the mine and see how far along the mine is to where that is. That's why I brought, brought the hatch with me. Now, I don't want to do a whole video of me just digging in the ground. So I'm going to do a vast majority of this at night. But I want to see how far along my mine is to get into where it needs to be. So we can do the ha escape hatch and get out. Okay, so we just got to drop down here. And now that I really know how to run down here. There we go. All right. So where am I? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, okay. So let's uh, pop these bad boys out of here. Pop this in here. Okay, and let's put that one. You are roughly ooh, right there. We'll go a little bit further out. Okay, so we'll go like right here. Let's just chop this out. Okay, that's fine. And we'll just do this like a, a, we'll put a sign up that says escape hatch or something like that, escape route. That's going to be how we actually get in and out of the base. So I'll work on that at night. Because I got enough in my forge to keep me going for a bit. And for this other forge, I need to fill it up while I'm here. So let me uh, grab some smeltables. Which I'm pretty sure I have. All right. And you need some brass. Hey, give me the candlesticks, actually. And give me these brass. We'll just throw these in this one so at night we'll be ready to go. So just take those and take take that. Thank you. And take this. You know, I have a little smeltables, and then we'll need one more for rock. Do I, did I bring another one? No, I, I'll need to make another forge for stone, which is a thing. And, uh, yeah, we can just drop these bones and stuff off. Okay, how we doing on uh, drinky drink? Take a drink there. Yeah, we're back up at 100%. Don't need the frickin' cup. That's a thing. All right, so next thing, while we're planning out our misery right here, I uh, need to, because I don't want to keep nerd pulling it up, and that is an obvious weak point in the base right now, is having this ladder over here. So we want to get rid of that at some point. 
Now, we want to be able to come down here. Hello. And just be able to go in and out through an, uh, like a base over there. All right, so. That's kind of the police station. And then we could get rid of the ladder, too, which is another obvious weak point. And I guess we could put barbed wire around that. We'll see. Okay, now I'm going to put two more on the other side. Now, I am thinking about removing this house over here. Uh, not the big one, but this little shed here is going to be a problem, child. This is going to be an issue. It's close enough that that it'll, uh, it'll give them a way in. So I can just pop out the bottom, I think. Let me make sure there's nothing in here that I need first. You know, like a body or something that's going to give me any good stuff. Yeah, it's all empty, right? Yeah, it's empty, empty. Okay, you guys stay there. I could just bop out the bottom and get rid of it. So I know if I leave this house here, it's going to be a problem, you know? So we'll just get rid of it. Just, uh, oop. Not sure why I did that, but sure. All you got to do is whack out the bottom. The whole thing will collapse eventually. And it's small enough I can get rid of it. So we'll just bop it on out of here. Don't want it holding on to this door. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not even aiming for that. It's like, oh, you're hitting the sand. I'm like, no, I'm not. Okay, it's always fun to do this. The big ones take forever to get rid of. Take that. I love how it sounds like concrete, too. See how much, uh, if the whole house can stand on one brick, one block. That'd be funny as hell. I think it can. Some strong stuff. Nope, it couldn't. There you go. All right, let's get rid of this one. So you can see quite a. It takes quite a bit to knock one of these houses down. Let me get rid of that. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this and this. Finish this up and get rid of this bad boy. There it goes. All right, now it's just a bunch of crap I can get rid of easily. Clean it up, you know? It's going to leave a bit of a divot, but not enough to matter. Not enough to matter. It's actually harder to take out the damn table and stuff. And there's a body in there, I know. But I did want this little guy out of here. If the big one can stay, they might get stuck behind it on a horde night, but I'm fine with that. They can go through it on their own. The little one, though, is ruining my line of sight. Yeah, this way. I can see them coming, and I need the defenses to go out a certain distance, so. And you guys get to say you saw me take down a building. Yeah. Yeah, got a tire. Nice. <laughs> the pipes are still standing. That's some good plumbing right there. Man, yeah, get out of here. Okay. Let's clean up the uh, last of this wood out of here. on the rocks. Well, that's a little starter thing if you ever, for whatever reason, I don't, you can't find sand. You know, if you're in a weird biome, for some reason, whatever reason, you need a ton of sand. 
uh, if you use a stone shovel on the side of a, any road, no matter what biome, it's like the dirt edge. You're going to uh, bring up sand, no matter what. So it's always useful to know that. Okay, is that everything? We all cleaned up? We are. And I could flatten it out if I really need to. Let's grab some rocks out of here. Grab this aloe plant out of here. All right, but now, now they have to come through here to do anything. You know, and then I can set a, you know, I set a light up like right here. And again, they're going to be coming from here, you know, from that building. So that kind of doesn't work in my favor. Why did I put those high? Oh, I was like, why did I put those up high? But now we're in the zone. Okay, did I loot this place? Yes. No. Nope. Well, might as well take a quick look, see if there's any ammo or anything. Now, okay, there was just some stuff repopping. Just take a look. Okay, it's not a hell of a lot. And I have no doubt that the zombies are just going to make an absolute mess of this place at some point, so nothing I care about. Just make sure I checked everything, the toilets, sink, filing a uh, uh, medicine cabinet. Oh, you know what? Am I wrench with me? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm going to take this, just get the parts out of this. There you go. Hello. Is there a gun safe or something in here? Nah, just a couple of bookcases. Well, that y'all leave alone. Sports bag. Yeah, nothing major. But I figured I'd check it and see if they repopped. Okay, so what I really wanted to do, though, is since it's a little quiet, we'll go through and we'll start picking more stuff out of our storage boxes. And we need to move over. And we'll dump out whatever trash we don't need. So, for trash, it'd be like this, 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 scrap that, that and that, and the cups. Don't need any, either of those. And eh, don't really need the blood bags either. Okay, you got a nice military vest. Too bad it's low end. I'll take these, I'll take these, I'll take the eggs. Start collecting the dukes. Okay, let's go ahead and, um, eh, you know what, just scrap it. Scrap them both for right now. I think there's another drop chest down this way. I did unload those pistols. I know I did. So, don't say, I did, I scrapped them with the ammo. No, I didn't. I already remember to unload them. I'm not in completely insane. Partially, yes. Completely, no. Okay, what's in here that's interesting? Nothing, but sounds like, oh, yeah, I left you alone last time. Oh, I'll come and get you. And I know I broke broke out some of the metal over here. More than one. Damn. He's just a pain in the eye. Hear more another one somewhere. Oh, there she is. Hello, nurse. Bye, nurse. I love how their sound effects last. Yeah, see, this is where I got the lights from right here. I think I stole the ones from the... Oh, there's a couple more up there. Uh, let me nerd pull up and grab those. Uh, I'll take the knife out for right now, because the bodies are going to stay here. I don't care about those. Okay, the easiest way to get up there would be right here. Come on. Oh, a couple more. Oh, almost there. Okay, where, I'm right where I need to be. And, uh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, wrench it. Here's somebody down there. 
I'm just afraid to hit it with the uh, the what I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to hit it with the pickaxe and immediately kill it. Okay, that's fine. I mean, they're just freaking wood, wood frames, so it doesn't matter. Okay, can I reach it? I got my two two more lights I needed. I thought I got them all from over here. I guess not. Oh, we got an airdrop. Okay, right there. All right. So, now I can nerve pull back down. It's okay. I'll leave the rest of that stuff out here. Let's grab this. Drop the body. Lines are for losers. I'm going through this way. Perfect. Okay. All right. So the air drops over there. Let's see what I got for space, real quick. Okay. And just move that over. I think we can just go get that airdrop. So, but that's the next episode. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. My name is JD Sensei. We're playing Seven Days to Die, and I'll catch you in the next vid. Have a great day, guys.